Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is already April the 26th, 2022. I still work. I go around the clock. You're going to see me posting some other video. It's going to be actually a video in respect to poisoning that took place on April the 17th and April the 18th. But first thing you're going to see, it's going to be this video. And then you're going to see another video. In other words, I'm going to go ahead to proofs about MKUltra. I will return back to audio recordings, proofs about MKUltra, proofs about identifying people involved in MKUltra, people, locations, housing, that kind of stuff. Just proof that, in fact, I was, that I did interact with the people when I shouldn't even be here in Europe. In this case, we have a gentleman, a physician, a doctor, and two paramedics who came for a visit. During medical emergency, they came for a visit to my father, uh, on whose behalf mother requested one earlier today. As you see, I video, actually I took a photo with a timestamp on it, it demonstrates time of arrival is about five ten minutes prior to 1600 hours on april the 25th 2022 uh the three individuals who were involved in mk ultra um there was a blonde slovenian individual and there was also he's also slovenian uh, but he's got a darker hair is taller and somewhat looks like Serbian but it's actually Slovenian those are the two paramedics I'm talking about I have mistaken one with a Serbian the second guy somehow it always it looked like this and I don't know it was just all that stuff that piled up in me that somehow I rejected that guy it's a very nice man who was in fact involved way prior to this blonde Slovenian guy. Uh, this is a paramedic that has been around a longer time than uh, a blonde guy. Uh, and then you have a physician, a doctor, who became a doctor. And it was, man, is from the group of guys I met during medical examination when I requested uh, assistance for myself at the general hospital in Novo Mesto. This physician uh, is from the same age group as the other two guys and um, that's the one I actually did identify. This opposed to the two physicians who examined me this guy attended the gymnasium this man something i did not obtain from him unfortunately but i did manage to obtain enough uh for him alone to somewhat somehow recognize me i would love to meet the two paramedics especially the guy with the glasses that I stated, the kind of a reminded uh, of Serbian guy. He was a very nice man involved in this. Well, this was like, as far as the paramedics, this was one of the longest serving uh, as a paramedic. As a, Paramedics are, through my eyes, these are more like high school graduates. Uh, I would say even, I think in this case, it takes about another two years, I think, to become uh, a paramedic like this. Uh, this guy was a really nice guy. And then it was this blonde guy that also joined his team. So the three worked together. Uh, I don't know along whom this this guy with the glasses used to work before but this guy goes way back 
in time just to give you a comparison uh, the physician I'm about to demonstrate my identifying one graduated in 2008 uh, and when I'm talking about the guy with the glasses the, this paramedic with the glasses this guy was already working this guy already was on the field for sure uh, sometimes like in I, I would say 2005 you know 2004 something like this uh, and so the blonde guy probably joined uh, sometime that I would that I would have seen him on a picture that the, the blonde guy would probably go somewhere uh, on a picture like in 2008 something like this like four years this must be younger than the guy with the glasses or at least at least sure sure enough at least you know these are young people that you if you wouldn't know one two three meeting these people before you you couldn't say any of what i'm saying right now but i firmly stand behind this stuff let's go and let me demonstrate you how i have identified eventually uh, a physician and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to play you over the whole audio recording Let's go, and I'll translate from Slovenian to English. They ask if I, my father goes out and stuff like this, and they do so because these people like me. All three of these guys, they liked me. They wanted me, they insisted me under MK Ultra that I have to go out and exercise, use the good weather at my advantage. Because in Slovenia, the winters are pretty damn cold. This one, the last one was pretty bad. Uh, so they told me, you know, so let's go. It's okay. Yeah. They said that father goes, there was, uh, everything was normal up to date. Until today, everything, he went out, he'll go for a walk and so on, healthy, all good. Today, however, he doesn't feel good. <laughs> I asked uh, a physician, a doctor, I said, would you guys ever hear before, did you visit us already here, this house, in the past? And it was a doctor, a physician, who says, not to my knowledge, he says, no, we shouldn't know each other. <laughs> Uh, now, once I obtain the usual answer, like how we don't know each other, I go on. And I aim uh, at 2012, I asked him, uh, have you completed university by any chance in medical university in Ljubljana in 2012? Well, then I, yeah. Uh, he says, uh, yeah, he said, just about. Uh, and he already noticed this problem of mine. My problem was that, well, the problem was that he didn't give me impression that he finished one. Due to his specialization. You see, it takes about another five years for one to become a specialized and then become like leader of the group like work independently like a leader of the group like he became so i didn't get any of this so in my idea was that he became well pretty much what, what i can recall him seeing him like independent like this functioning 2012 2013 because it should be also some time that he would spend uh, specializing himself and I had no idea that actually he is about to tell me take, it took me five years upon graduation of medical school to specialize myself and come out as you know as what I stated so he says why why how do you know and and I said because I remember you and it's also why I asked you uh, earlier 
whether you were here already before or not. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he says, uh-huh, okay. And so, Pedro, he started to manage the video. So, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he says, uh, my, uh, I became specialized. I, I, I completed the specialization, he said, in 2014. He said, uh, and I said, what I wanted to say actually was that you started to work independently since 2013 and he said no 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 I already uh, I, I and I said what I was trying to say you became a, a, a medic a physician he said no 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 I, I became a physician already before in 2008 <laughs> He says in 2008 that he graduated in University of Ljubljana. Um, and upon graduation, you become a, a, a physician, he said. He said, but it takes another five years for you to become a specialized as a physician. In, in some areas, four years, but in mine, it took five years. So I said, but wait, 2008, if you graduated and take five years, that's year 2013, when you became, you know, when he came out as, basically from what I can recall him, like this, that he would be like a chief, like a, like a boss of the group. No, no, no. And he says, yeah, that is true. No, no. Okay. And he knew exactly what I mean. Uh, this gentleman would take me with him to Ljubljana University. Sometimes even by auto stopping. I know, I was drugged up under MK Ultra, but it was also the way to go to Ljubljana also like this with his students, with his people. They would also take me like that. I was well polite, I was well behaved uh, at Spar in uh, Kulandia shopping mall. I was actually told, you know, under MK Ultra they told me, it's going to be very difficult to point out that you were drugged up because you act so sober when you are drugged up that it actually will be difficult to prove that we have you on real video drugged up because this is a really really problem they told me you have to do something for us that will indicate that you are drugged up because you give impression like everyone else here in the line standing around and so on that you are actually not even drugged up yeah um there is stuff I wouldn't even want to talk about because of certain people involved in it. But there were people that watched over me and they were doing some kind of stuff too. All kinds of recordings and stuff like this. Uh, ensuring that one day I would eventually have physical proofs of all that stuff. Uh, that's all I want to say. Uh, the rest of it... I say I didn't know that, that it takes five years for you to become specialized into something. That's why I said 2012 uh, rather than 2013. Why? Why? Let me explain to you something. Why exactly I targeted 2013. Because in 2013, I started to disseminate garbage online. Hatred. Uh, I, I was just so sick of everything that, that I turned to completely unlikely sources of solution uh, because I was angry at the whole society and the most I was angry was basically at those that claimed racial prejudice, racial injustice, inequality, 
uh, and at the same time they were taking a tremendous advantage of me, a uh, tremendous advantage of crime against me. Basically against those most vulnerable that shouldn't do the stuff like this against even those that are more vulnerable. It concerned me and all the stuff that I experienced on that MK Ultra, uh, it surfaced, boy. And in all this madness, uh, this guy was one of the, per the first guys, this physician, this young physician, was one of the first guys that would jump on me uh, because he was completely frustrated because he said, I, I was the one I was supposed to save you somehow from this and you're disseminating hatred. You're doing this kind of stuff. He said, you're not going to only destroy yourself. You're also going to destroy me. You're going to destroy us all, he said to me. And I'm not going to forget that. Um, he became completely frustrated with me, angry. And he had a great deal of rage uh, involved against me and the culture because of that stuff. It changed a lot and it was all kinds of problems. Uh, but really this was not his fault. This guy always really looked out for me, but it's just, I probably would do the same thing. All right, so that's all. That's translated this whole thing for you. What I'm going to do is, I thank them, they leave, I'm going to play over this audio recording in Slovenian language, I will no longer translate. The way all this ended today, it ended with my father being taken about two hours later at the hospital. Uh, I heard what it appeared to me like arguments between mom and dad. So I walked back in the living room and I asked what's going on. And uh, while they wouldn't accept my taking the two to the hospital, my assistance, it was my niece's husband that appeared at the door entrance to the room. And basically he handled from within the whole thing, took father to the hospital. They did examined one again. They couldn't find anything. A little earlier, they suggest that he did have on this audio recording that he did have suffered uh, low blood pressure issues and was given a pill. Um, however, the hospital, my mother told me they examined the one, they couldn't find anything wrong. Uh, but the final x-ray examination of the head demonstrated possibly even bleeding in the head that he had uh, a seizure, that he suffered a minor seizure or whatever, so that they decided to keep one inside of the hospital. I have to warn you that a psychiatrist who was involved in this case insisted that this would be the last time I would see my father, that he would remove one from the case, from the MK Ultra case. Uh, that this just would be because I wouldn't appreciate one and so on and so forth. Um, upon return from hospital, mother, I did not, I was not in the hospital, I was doing my stuff. M mother did exactly, it was a replica, it was a rehearsal of the scenario which was played out to me under MK Ultra or not, uh, not as far as the physicians. But as far as what I'm talking right now, uh, on probably 10 occasions, I repeat it time and again. 
a chief of the police, Ogolin, was involved in this stuff. Now he is a director of police in Novo Mesto. Um, alongside a police officer who acted like his right hand in this case, who was also involved since 1995, acted on his order uh, along the psychiatrist Peter Kapsch all the time he was present to be just as acquainted with the case as a director of the police of Novo Mesa. This is the guy I met the other day, met me at Gabria. He's got a blue Volkswagen caravan, I don't know whether that's Golf or his Jetta or whatever it is, 2015. He bought used one, I think, about two years old, that car, uh, back then. And this guy was involved since 95, and they insisted me for this case that my father no longer would come out from the hospital. Eventually, they would issue one death certificate, literally like this. Um, and that it would be exactly this police officer therefore so much acquainted with a case that would then investigate his death at home which it will all depend on me on how i would behave act it could be again like this it could be again like that or it could be complicated against me even this they came up with even with this kind of scenario they came up with mother did turn the phone just as they have demonstrated me under MK Ultra, upside down while laying on the bed with lights turned off, she turned the smartphone around, which was a signal she did twice tonight, which is a signal to me that uh, it would be a death certificate, that it's over, that it's over. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Now the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'll play you the whole audio, not the whole audio recording, but just the audio recording that concerns basically the part where I identified this um, physician. What I can tell you about the rest of the audio recording is not much. Um, they gestured that he's got a low pressure. They give him a pill. He gets one on the tongue. Uh, oh yeah, maybe I should play the whole thing. A physician, doctor, actually is yelling, uh, talking very, very loudly, uh, because father appears doesn't hear anything. Uh, I think if you were completely deaf, what physician also have figured out, you would hear. Uh, but this is just uh, the game that we play all along, so that's all there is. I want to thank him for that too. Low blood pressure. Um, in Slovenian language, I am going to play the whole thing. It's, um, let's see, almost about... What, 20 minutes?
Na blato ste šli danes? Na blato ste šli? Ni. Ne treba tak dan. Ne? Tak je brukal? Ne. Če se vrti v glavi? Če se vrti zdaj? Kako? Če se ti v glavi vrti? Če se vrti? Zakaj pa nima tis za ušeso? No, pa rad. Kako je ima? 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 Možno da dajte karbon, možno sem pa ti spomnil, da je potrebno. Ja, pa kar ne dajte. Točno to. Vsi to, kar je potrebno, to, ko ga je sprašal, ni Na zadnje mi se to sedem in ošli, da se to... Ma te bi hilo, slučajno? Ne, pa ničo. Ja, pa ničo. Zdaj bi se počesal. Zdaj ste se vi počesali. Zdaj se je počesal. Kaj pa je to? A ti ne dela baterija? Ne dela. Ja, vem, da kaj slišiš. Ja. Kdo je se počesal? Ste se sami? Sam sem se počesal. Kaj noge vtekajo? Ne. Ni zvedel, kaj? Mhm. Ok. Pa, zdaj, čez dan na hodsko veliko na vece, bolj po noč, verjetno, ne? Po noč, ja. Čez dan pa niti ne. Ne. No, že gre, ampak ne pa s tako uro. Zdaj, pa skus ga že, ne? Ni pa kaj jamlo, da bi ga treba ubolel. Ne. Kako je to bilo? Ne, ne. Ne, ne. Ne, ne. Ne, ne. Ne, ne. Ja, to je malo. Tako je na rok, pa ne? Tako je na rok, pa ne? Kaj je to drugi? Malo dobi poprilo. Če je ali če je nobeno? Če je. Zdaj se pa nazadne kriti smeru. Danes sem, da sem odkrej. Nisem omerila pogorčo krat. Ne. Ampak pravi se, da je bil normalen. Ja. Je bil pod 140 ja. dvej, da tudi. No, tako, 140, 80. A pa je ta 185, 100 je visok zdan. Zelo. Zelo, ok. Dobro, imamo. Ja, to je peso. To, ne? Kaj pa? Sram je bol. Kam si si dal? Vzel sem. Ti si vzel, ne? Ja, 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 ja. Dobro. Če? 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 
Vista pa končal univerziteta 2012, ga slučajno. 2012? Ja. A, pa drežno, ja. Zakaj? Tako, spomnim se vas, zaradi tega sem predhodno vprašal. Ja. Aha. A je to pedeška, ki je tu na mesti Mislim, dva tega zaključe, pol dva civilacije sem dva štrnaest. Dva štrnaest? Sem se še zdaljšel, ne, tako, ja. Jaz sem hotel reči od tamo, dva tisič štrnaestega se pa že kot zdrovnik, ne. Tako sem hotel reči, tam pa še. Ja, že imamo prej, ja. Že prej je bilo? Ja, ja, takrat sem bil specialist. Koliko, koliko prej je pa bilo to? Dva tisič štrnaest. Dva ena sem začel, da je dva osem sem zaključil, pa, ne. Dva tisič osemsto ni več sem zaključil, tako, ja. Ampak, kot sem osnovni zdravnik, ste pa... Ja, takrat je pa kot te je opisali, što si že zdravnik, ne, ampak ja, pa pretelj za te še pet let, ker pa tudi. Je pa pet let, se pravi, je pa dva tisič štirnaest, pa. Ja, da, 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 Najlepše vam hvala, pa se slišimo. Pogledajte. Tu sem nekaj hvala, ne pa zaobiso. Ampak tu sem upravo pa. Okay, April the 25th, 2022, and there is a physician identified, but those are the two guys that were involved in MKUltra, they too have participated he, along his side, alongside. Uh, these people visited already before, so I was, even, I did even go with him to Ljubljana at the university with this guy. I had no idea who he was. I, yeah, I mean, under MK Ultra, sometimes he would come to me and then he would not, and back and forth, boy. April 25th, 2022, 12 minutes after 1600 hours. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that's about the only thing left for me in respect to this video. This video is now will be published uh, there's only one left uh, there's only one more thing left for me to do let's basically take time and date and so we can publish this online so this this is going to serve as additional proof of MK Ultra. Uh, with these guys involved I want to be really really exact the guy with the glasses that looks somewhat like Serbian, but it's not. It's Slovenian, actually. And I was not really nice to him, which was which was uh, not a good thing about me. But, you know, nobody really knew what went on with me back then, what kind of stuff was done to me. And I do apologize for that matter. He is a paramedic, if you want about two years longer than the blonde guy he has been around for about two years longer than the blonde guy he was involved in mk ultra probably about four years longer than the slovenian oh, it's just slovenian they're both a slovenian than the this blonde guy 
Uh, and then you have this physician whom I have pointed out, or it's not verified, he attended gymnasium, then went to Ljubljana. Um, and for whom I have pointed out that he became, that he began to work like independent, like boss of, boss of the group uh, since 2013. So that's something I can tell. And also there is more because this, both of these guys, especially the first one, uh, he was involved. You know, this was the first guy actually, I'm trying to picture him. Uh, in my case, like this, like since 2004. And then it was this blonde guy that also joined, but didn't become really visible. Probably, I would say, like since 2000 and uh, 6, 2008, maybe, maybe even something like this. And then it was this physician who finally graduated, became physician. And uh, he would appear here and there alongside others, but really became independent, like a boss, like a litter of the group, which is ambulance vehicle you have seen, specialized that I remember him like this uh, since 2013. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time.